Salutation comrades, I'm Mr. Mokulover, and thank you for rejoining me here in TNO, playing as a Siberian Socialist Republic. Last time we became this country, and now we're in a war against Russian People's Union, and, as well as a Republic of Kazakhstan. But let's get to some comments first. The first comment from yesterday said that, uh, uh, Salvin's events are very wholesome. Yes, they are. And also, I should make more divisions before I try to smash into Kazakhstan. I should probably do that. But right now we're getting attacked as well. Uh, yeah. Actually, we're... Even with 1 versus 3, we're still doing pretty darn well. I wonder what would happen if I did just a general attack. But let's not do that yet, because they're still attacking my lines and... Jesus Christ, guys. People's Union. Not very smart. Not very smart. Um, even though down here, you know what, I kind of want to do a general attack, see what happens. Let's try it anyways. I don't know what's going to happen, but let's enjoy it. So it looks like we are actually defending there. Defending there. Def oh, we're trying to attack there too. Uh, you might want to try to help them out maybe. Maybe not. Let's see what happens. Maybe you'll win, maybe you won't. If not, that's okay. What I really wanted to do was just move through Kazakhstan quickly. Freedom under socialism next is done. Uh, let's see. Allow minor ideological differences. We should never allow Russia to ever again f sway or fall to, to the destructive and reactionary views of capitalism. Fascism will be eliminated from our lands. Bourgeois democracy is a stage where we are well beyond. And monarchy is fundamentally a backwards ideology that will never rise up again. But does that mean we have to exclude every view that conflicts with our doctrine? Aside from Sablonites, the Communist Party has been, always been more traditionally socialist, Bukharanists, or has them, and the Utopian Socialists. These sections of socialism, though not ones we follow, still aren't a threat to the revolution and could be left alone with a little issue. And they might actually have a point about a few things we could do differently. Authoritarian Socialism, Social Democracy, less political party, but more stability, so that's not a terrible thing to get. Cool. Beat him up. Uh, oh! Uh, so, I, I'll be honest, off-screen, I did mess around with the Reich just a little bit. I gave them some political power so they could actually take their decisions to go to war with Dietzland and as well as Denmark. And they were to go to Slovakia like we established in yesterday's video. Uh, with this push, oh, there goes Denmark. Um, I wanted to push at least a little bit to see how much damage I could do. Because right now we've taken, they've lost almost 500,000 casualties, which is a ton. And then we're not going to keep attacking, we're going to pause it just a little bit and then basically get some more max planning. I think that'd be a very good thing to do. And also, we still have some infantry, light infantry here, which we need to fix up. Which is not looking ideal, but that's okay. But that is a okay. You, you find them, you beat them up. You find them, you beat them up. Cool, doing a good job. Come down here, you should be able to win pretty darn easily. Alright, let's go ahead and pause it. So, when they're done, they're done. I think that was a pretty good successful attack. We've caused many casualties for the enemies, and honestly, not that much for us. And we overran a division. And there goes Dietzlein as well, but I do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm in these Siberian months. Or Siberi Siberian lands, really. Taking 56,000 casualties, not bad. They've taken almost roughly 600,000. I'll be honest, I spilled my coffee on my foot earlier, so it was really hot. Let's see. Unity and diversity. Many states stamp out any thought that does not align exactly with the views of the leadership. Not in the Siberian Socialist Republic, though. Anarchists. Uh, syndicalists, Bukharanists, Utopian Socialists, Sablonites, Leninists, non-party members, they can all find a home here. We are building true socialism, and we must bring in input from every part of the left. Our ability to tolerate any different types of thought is a great asset, even if they've been historically hostile towards one another. And we should get even more stability, but we have... Ooh, another division. Glorious. I did say I want to make tanks, but it doesn't look like that's probably going to happen. Hmm. If we lose here, you know what? That's okay. We don't always win in every place. We don't always win. And that's okay. We gotta, we gotta remind ourselves that sometimes we just aren't perfect. Yeah, keep moving in there. If you really want to, help them out. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Pavlodar, we want that, please. 12 billion in debt, that is not ideal. Quite not ideal. Got a lot of army XP now, though. That's really nice. Well, I guess they're not gonna defend it. I guess they're just gonna show up there. Nice. 600,000 casualties for the enemy. Let's see, restoring Russia. We'll see about that. Zero manpower, 75 divisions. Yeah, we only have like 34. Not bad. Oh, they're still attacking us, I see, huh? Yeah, they're still attacking, attacking, attacking. You guys actually should be able to take those guys out without too many problems. Especially if you start just smashing through their strength levels. Oh, that's so nice. So nice. Wow, that's not good, though. That's really not good. Go and do that. Mm, you can probably push in as well. 
No issues. Push in. Push in. Good. Push in. Yes. Push in and push in. Help short up the line a little bit by limiting the need for this tile and this tile. We'll do really well. So, unity, uni, unity and diversity. Today, Valerie Saab, the leader of the Siberian Socialist Republic, announced the beginning of an all Siberian left wing ideological summit, the summit which will last week, is held in the national capital and has limited delegates from all left wing ideologies, from anarchism to Leninism. Events will, held will include debates, the drafting plan of action for the Siberian governance, and different panels which will introduce a summit goers to the theory and practice of each ideology featured. According to Salvin in his opening speech, the official goal of the event is to increase understanding and cooperation between all left wing ideologies in the decades to come and ensure the unity of all leftist movements in the struggle to unify Russia. Give me a ticket. So what happens if, like, they're all leftists, according to themselves, they're all leftists. What happens to, like, anything that's even, like, remotely more right-wing than does, like, being the left would become normalized. So then what happens to the right-wing? It just becomes, like, I guess not authoritarian socialist. Is that, is that further left-wing? I don't know. I have no idea. But let's do a roof over every head. All I know is that no things get normalized. Times are rough. People are living in the streets or in poor maintained huts or structures. Whole families go without roofs over the head or walls to give them their own privacy. We need to fix this problem in a way that does the most amount of good for the most people for the lowest cost. This means apartment blocks. With our efforts, we can guarantee every citizen can have a warm and private place away from the cold and snow. This may leave much to be desired in terms of urban design and is not the most luxurious accommodation, but is worth the trade-off to ensure citizens do not want for housing. Get some building slots. Some very nice building slots. Go ahead and smash the heck out of these guys. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Those tanks are looking very weak. Yeah. Not bad. Even though we're fighting a to an enemy with a total force of around at least 80 to 85 or 84, we've done really, really well so far. It's very good. Very, very good. Alright, let's make the line a little smaller. Make the line a little smaller. There you go. Is this a lake or something? It must be the lake around here. If that's the case, you can get right there, and you can go right there. Good. Very good. Now, this is the place I want to attack next. They're still attacking us on the line. Does anyone have upgrades, actually? No, not yet. And that is okay. The deficit's still not looking great. I could get some military spending, but we're not going to do that. We're not that crazy. Oh, look at it. Social democracy. Chibisov. Oh, do we have fascism? Oh, Antonova. Antonov. Oh, boy. Not bad. A roof over every head. Bob, other people march on. On every map in the school, in every school, the name of our union stretches from the Ob to the Sea of Ok, ok or ok Husk. It is a symbol of our triumph over the forces of reaction that have so long plagued the peoples of Russia. But this triumph is incomplete. To the west, these forces are still arrayed against us. The people will unite Russia, drive back fascism to the ignominy of the past, and march forwards in a beautiful future for all. Proletari of Sran Soyadinyat. Yes, yes. Obviously, as you can tell, I'm very much not Russian, or know very, very little about the Russian language, so. Forgive my ignorance of the pronunciations. But then again, if I play more Russian, I should probably learn a little bit more of it. Let's go there. Go there. Go there. You know what? Just for fun, you just beat him up anyways. Just beat him up. There you go. Beat him, beating them up. That's always nice. Yeah, we definitely have to attack here next. Uh, go and do that. You're moving anyways, you might as well help out, right? Four more divisions. Gonna get crushed. Strength isn't being lowered by that much. But still get good to get rid of these enemies. They're still attacking us. Beautiful. One division is holding out. Ooh, gover the government of national salvation. That's cool. Oh. Against four divisions. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, when do we... What the heck? I'm, am I still making these divisions? I guess I am. Huh. I don't remember making those types, but sure. You know what? We're done making those types of divisions. We don't want to make any more garbage, so there we go. Yeah, if anything, I would... Re I, just, I still want to... I still don't have a tank, but, you know, that's okay, I guess. Order 44. Oh! The devil of Shoah rises from hell. Oh, boy. Found the Spain, the way the warrior is to be found in dying. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Integrated circuit computing. Very good. Uh, it is 70. Let us go ahead and grab some max actually space in the state cap growth. I want more output right now. 5% more cap. 10% more... I, I'm sorry. 10% more cap is the way to go. It has to be the way to go. 
Good, good, good. Do we, oh, the people march on. If to, someone told Valerie Sablin, the idealistic leader of a band of desperate mutineers so many years ago that one day he would unite Russia under his banner, he would scarcely believe his ears. And yet, the, the day has finally come. From the White Sea to the Pacific, Russia was finally born in the passionate flames of the new October Revolution. Sablin sat in his DACA with the members of the Central Committee around a small wooden table, a glass of vodka in hand. Others have used this opportunity to, to award themselves with lavish pomp and circumstance, but not him. Congratulations, Valerie, you did it. You finally united Russia, Braun said, raising a glass of his own. No, said Sablin, raising his own glass of turn. We did it, you, me, and the party, the workers, everyone. I know it wasn't easy. We faced so many hardships together, so many moments of doubt and uncertainty in the journey today. We were surrounded by enemies who believed us to be fools, who threatened to give us up that... Uh, give up on that vision we broke our backs for. I remember the first day of mutiny against Yagoda, being so afraid and uncertain of the future ahead, warning if I made the right choice to rebel or the best decision was to give up and surrender there and then. But it wasn't. Instead, we toiled endless day and night to create a new Russia based on the ideals of the old, where all men and women are equal, where they can all sleep safely in their beds without fear or danger. And it was through enduring that toil and sacrifice together that it finally came to pass. The fires of the October Revolution will burn forevermore. As all thanks to everyone who worked so hard to bring that vision to life. To everyone who will enjoy the fruits of that vision, whom we sacrificed everything for, to you. But now we're done with that side of the tree, and it's time to get a little atomic. Russia has been long regarded by powers near and far as a backwater, vast, steep, full of peasant farmers and decades of revolution, collapse, and civil war, which has done little to challenge this perception. But this will soon change. With this resources, human and otherwise, that we have acquired during our campaigns of reunification, we possess the ability to begin a nuclear program. The power of the atom is a great equalizer in the game of geopolitics, and we shall now act and harness it for ourselves. Which is going to hurt our debt, our GDP, but once this war is over, hopefully it won't be too bad. Hopefully. Hopefully. I just want to see what would happen again. Not bad. We're not, we can't win everywhere, but that's okay. And dead is 12.69. All right. I think that's a pretty good assault. So let's see. Well, we have no one here, which is really disappointing. Why do we have no one here? Well, obviously, you're going to lose if you attack like that. You should probably attack right there, since they're attacking right there. Oh, Portuguese Provisional Republic. Hold on. What's going on? National Government of Salvation. Is that, like, down here in Africa? Or... Oh, it's all. Oh, it's over here. Oh boy, do they have a focus tree? No, they do not. The Iberian Wars. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I think just stay with. You should just stay with Iberian Union. Spain is looking pretty strong right now. I'm not gonna lie. They're doing pretty well for themselves. Go and take them out, which will help these guys out. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. I love these little small attacks we're doing. Hey, we got Amk. Amkolinsk. Very cool. Very cool. Mm. Go and lower construction one more time. You know, it's just a civilian spending that's spending we're spending so much on. There you go, two billion. That's not bad. So how much we got? One, two. That's fine with me. Better research facilities. The money keeps on rolling in, and our scientists are loving it. With the budget of our research and development sky program skyrocketing, we built new research facilities and excuse me, upgraded our old laboratories. This won't just allow us to be safer when working. We'll handle more dangerous materials and ensure greater amounts of research to be done. Across the private and public sector, the new technologies from the military to civilian uses are being developed. Of course, this is good for the more than just scientists. Now, citizens will be able to enjoy the boon of research, economic bonuses like new industrial equipped technology that will keep the country or economy moving. So less political power but more research speed, not bad. Not the best benefit, but really not bad. Not bad. Do we have any spare planes? Probably not. Early fighters, improved jet fighters, basic jet fighters... Okay, maybe a little bit. Maybe just 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 a little bit. Very nice. Ah, good. We want some tanks still, but we'll see what happens. I definitely want to make sure we got enough of this for now. Uh, do that. We'll put some more on here. Put some more on here as well for now. All right, that looks good. <sighs> Military, police, field hospitals, signal companies, logistics might still be pretty good. Do we have, we have logistic companies on our guys, right? Yeah, we do. You know what? Let's get even better ones. I almost never use them. Let's use them. 12% more initiative. Glorious. Let's let our guys, uh, actually rebuild the front line. We might need to do that. Maybe, maybe not. We have a total of 40 divisions. Civilian austerity is gone. Budget went up, but not really. And actually, it's still 10.3 and 8%. That's not bad. That's really not bad at all. Alright, I want these guys to get more planning. I want everyone to get ready to go. Because, honestly, this is probably the last little war we'll have, so... 
Uh, theoretical development. Let's get address with you any problem. Russia is a very, truly enormous land, possessing many varied resources and vast abundance. Unfortunately, however, uranium is not one of those, so far as we know. Without a safety and reliable supply of uranium, we have little to no program, and thus no bomb. We must therefore make every effort in order to find the supply as soon as possible. No matter what it costs, we must find new sources of fissile material. Yes, please. Alright, so. Okay, first the passage done. I'm joining here with my cat, Binky, who uh, was just sleeping on my chair, but now he's kind of hanging out. Hanging out, having a good time. Support opens five. More breakthrough. Yes, yes, yes. And reunify the motherland. Project Molnia. Molnia. I don't want to see that regional integration. We can do that later, maybe. Uh, let's see. It's going to cost us a lot of money to do this. Academic base will begin to improve. Research facilities, facilities begin to improve. Um, yeah, why not? Let's see what, the, what we can do about that. The race for Kazakhstan, well, oh, it's already on fire, so. How about another small attack? Uh, we're not doing so well in the north. Uh, you guys already you guys already won down here, so they're already retreating, so. Peace conference is over. Is Dietzland done, or is it Portugal? Ah! Spain has defeated them. Cool. Did they reunite Iberia? No, but that'd be kind of cool. Oh, they have the government of Portugal. And then there's the provision, Portuguese Provisional Republic or government. Huh. Well, okay then. Help them out here. They probably need it. Let's be real. Nice. Smash them, smash them, smash them. Oh, that is not looking good right there. I do not like to see that. That is not bueno. No, no, no. Now that's pretty nice. Alright. I'm going to really ruin our gun amount right here. Big boys. Everyone's a big boy now. Everyone's a big boy. But you're really going to hurt our gun amount, but whatever. That just increases the strength. So we can produce more guns now. And that's okay with me. Oh, there's some serious lag. It's probably just auto-saving. That's why. Uh, over here, it's looking pretty bad. Oh, man. You're looking real weak. What's your strength percentage? 8%. That ain't looking good. <laughs> uh, keep you on medium. Keep you on low. Keep you on high. I'll keep you on medium as well. High for reinforcements. High, 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 high. Oh, uh, yeah. You're looking exceedingly weak down here. Wow. Let's do that one. Cool. Expand the Siberian mines. Don't mind if we do. Deep within Siberia lies Krasnoyarsk. Although important for other reasons, the region is also notable for producing vast quantities of uranium deep below the surface. Uranium that we can now exploit. In order to properly do so, an entire mining operation and the infrastructure surrounding it will have to be built from scratch. And the effort required will be enormous, and the cost even greater, but such is irrelevant. We must have that uranium. Look okay, at more factories, please. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, you guys could probably do this pretty darn well. Yeah, there they go. There you go. Bye-bye. <gasps> Our first tank division. Ooh! Nice, nice, nice. Mikhail, Mahi, finally! You have... You'll be on the battlefield with us. Finally. Uh, Gerlach. Sure, why not? So, if that's the case, I'm just gonna get rid of some of these Kazakh divisions down here. I think that'd be for the best. Just encircle, like, these two divisions. They're already really weak. But I just... I just wanna get rid of them at this point. They don't need to exist. They just don't need to. If you can, help them out. No, you cannot. That's fine. Whatever. You can help out then. Good. We lost about 100,000, 86,000 versus a million. Good. Very, 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 very good. Wow, that's a lot of guns we need. Mm. Yeah, APCs can go back down to there. Planes are fine. Yeah, I'm not going to lower anything else. We just can't afford it. Kurdistan is on fire, as well as Iraq. <sighs> Iraq. What a place to be. What a place. Alright. Oh yeah, move in. Actually, you know what? If you're, if you're fast enough, you can probably go down there even without the tanks. Oil, oh crap, no, 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 I don't like this oil crash. It's not very good. Nothing good, good can come out of this. People do not want words. They want the sound of battle, the battle of destiny. Uh, with an oil crisis, probably you just open up a lot of oil reserves in America. I mean, there's your solution. All right, Germany. I gave actually I gave him a lot of political power, so you should be able to do more than this, because there's going to be a coup if Goring doesn't attack fast enough. I'm pretty sure a civil war or something like that. All right, here. Uh, you know what? Where's the, where's the tank? Uh, you're making your way down there. Uh, hmm. It's fine. You know what? We get attacked in the north. Whatever. One, two, three. Whatever. All right, we get, they're getting attacked there, and it's looking pretty bad, honestly. 
should be able to win easily. Let him do that. Move in as well. We have no spare soldiers. Uh, even though you're moving down here, so. Because you're looking pretty darn weak. Oh, upgrade? Adaptable, yes. That should guarantee victory there, then. Right? No? Maybe. Beautiful. Let's go in and take everything you can down here. Because we'll just move up this way now. Nice. Go and assault them. That'd be good. Uh, how fast are you guys? Only two kilometers, but now they've been cut off, so that's awesome, awesome, awesome. Expense to bear in mind. How about we do some source some forward materials, though? If we cannot find enough uranium to support our program domestically, we shall have to look farther af afield. Agents, legal and otherwise, will be dispatched across the world to research and investigate both known and rumored uranium deposits. Whether we must buy the material, trade for it, or steal it, we can acquire it. The program must continue, and a bomb cares little for where the material inside it comes from. Pretty much. Pretty much. Good. Ooh, did they win here? That is not ideal. No, 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 Oh, man, they're, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, there goes the rock. Then they're having little problems here and there. That's fine with me. I don't really care. Uh, how fast can you move in here? Get take this tile so we can reform the front line because it's lo not looking good right now. Beautiful. Reform the front line. Everyone hold. And reform it. Because now we're going to make more encirclements. It's probably like right here. I'm really focusing on Kazakhstan. I should really focus on here more. But I will. <laughs> Kazakhstan is just too easy to take out. I'm too tempted by the easy, the ability of us to just destroy them. Anything else for this? Not yet. Okay. Money-wise, no. 3.8 billion. That's a lot. Oh, man. They really are taking a lot. But we can't really attack since we're really, really out of guns. Minus 33,000, so I don't want to attack without my tanks first, for now. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, no, 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 Good. Man, these guys looking really weak. Can you guys get, get over here? You can, which is not ideal. Hmm. No, the tanks here, yep. Wait, what the heck? No, just, mm. That's a little bit more of a roundabout way. Actually, we can just go here, 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 and take out three enemy divisions that way. Uh, Machiv, you have anything for us? Yes, Panzer Expert. Thank you, my friend. Comrade. Let's see, we can take out two divisions, I think, is it? Okay, stop auto-saving. Man, this, I'll be swear, I swear, man, this mod, it does lag quite a bit, so. But we've already established that a while ago. Let's get take you. And just in case, do that, do that. And then we'll attack these guys, take them out, shore up some more little lines so up here. Well, this will be taken care of. Uh, and then we'll probably attack that way, actually. Oh, uh, you know what? Why don't we just decide to go that way for, for now? You guys do that, 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 that. You begin attacking, and then you begin attacking as well. See what you can do? Great! Mm, they're not moving, so. And this is all distraction up here. Because I want to shore up more of the line down here, so it's easier to get rid of these guys, and then maybe make it a break around here. So. Source for material. Establish close facilities, though. As soon as we are desperate to unlock the secrets of the atom, our enemies are equally desperate to prevent us from doing so. Although there are many ways to increase security, very few are absolute, and absolute security is necessary when the stakes are so high. We will therefore sequester our entire nuclear programs, laboratories, enrichment facilities, reactors, and production lines, and close cities. These cities will not permit any entry or exit to anyone without any direct authorization from the highest levels of the government. Although cumbersome and expensive, such as relevant, we must have safety and security for the program, and we will. Absolutely. Yeah, this helps you up the line, and just helps destroy divisions, which is awesome. Are you leaving? No, you can't leave. Go in and make sure that we can't get encircled ourselves. Good. Good. Destroyed. Destroyed. Get in there. Good. You're going to kill them off, and you're going to immediately attack them so they can't move. Good. Now. Now I'm going to come over here. And do it up here. Because i got to start helping out this part of the line. Excuse me. You're supposed to come up here. Thank you. Come on. Is someone getting in here or not? They are. Good. Good. Are they still attacking me up here? No, they're not, which is good. Even though we're taking more lands, which is not ideal, because that, that that means we have to do more resistance stuff. It is what it is. You know. Salazar's victory in Portugal. Interesting. Hey, Portugal's back. Cool. Hello, Portugal. You still have no focus, which is disappointing, but whatever. Someday. 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 
Uh, okay, well, I didn't expect us to do that, but okay, well, sure, why not? Oh, now you're getting attacked. That's fine. That's fine. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, they're looking the wrong direction, but that's fine. Sure, why not? They're dead. Mm hmm. Just help push around for these guys. It's fine for now. Push them around as well. Good. I should really get more divisions, but nope. I can do it with 40. 40 infantry is fine with me. Alright, so we've got to really start focusing up, up here. Is that a river? It does look like a river. Uh, we're going to start pushing around here. Wow, these guys are incredibly... Why have I not attacked earlier? Yeah, I'm sorry, but I don't think they're going to really stand up to us. Not really sorry about that, though. Uh, right here is right where we got to attack or something, man. If I can make a fast enough push, we can circle all these divisions here and destroy them. Anything else? No, still doing this stuff. Cool. Just move in, man. Just move in. It's your new home. Yeah, no. You know what? No. No. Good. Fix up the line. Fix up the line. Push them back. If they don't want to be pushed back, just teach them a lesson or two. Drink some coffee. Hmm. Good stuff. Resource efficiency gain? Sure, why not? We could probably use that. Uh, help them out, too. And then help them... Uh, we can actually go that way, then, if we're going to attack there and then there. That's not bad. Good. Good. Shoring up the line. Not bad. Not bad. Even though over here, we could probably do another, another encirclement. Uh, if that's the case, do this. We can throw that IFV. Get rid of them. The quicker we move, the better we can be. And a foundation for research. I don't want to take my time with this, just because this is probably the final episode. More than 20 years of civil war has, among many other things, all but destroyed the educational infrastructure of the nation, and led to the emigration or death of most competent scientists and physicists. If we are to have any hope of continuing and completing our nuclear program, we must address this. We cannot wait for skilled scientists to make themselves known or return from afar, or for advanced institutes to be reclaimed. We must act. We will directly fund the universities and research centers that we do live, or that we do have, and monitor them closely for students of loyalty and aptitude who can be directly recruited into our development program. Cool. <clears throat> Come on, move, 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 move. Signal companies, nice. That's very nice, actually. Get even better to signal companies. 12% more? Yes. <clears throat> I'm going to just kill them off. Kill them off, kill them off. Good. Alright, so here is what we gotta do. Still in austerity? Nope. Oh, man. Cost just keeps going up. Don't like it. Uh, what is our deficit of guns now? Minus 33,000. It's slowly getting better, but worse. It's We can make about 50 a day, so that's not bad. Oh, no, it's going back up. Hold on. All right, so let's get everyone where they need to be first, and that'll be good. And then we'll do another general attack, probably. Uh, we could better get, get some better of that stuff. Over here, air attack. Enemy air support goes down 70. Ah, let's get some more soft attack. So we could definitely use that. Oh, we could use more manpower, too. Are we ready to go? We might try a small attack from here to here to there. Maybe here to here. Maybe take a small attack and do that. Let's start off small, just because I think that would be for the best. Okay, do and do that. There you go. Nice. The tank's moving so fast. Both of you attack here. You help with the attack as well. It's a small attack, but you know what? This will help shore up enemies. I should have done this earlier, too. And infantry are... Almost in? In. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We'll do another one right here, too. That'll be good. You know what? At least we were able to use our tanks. That's what I wanted to use by the end of this campaign. Good, good, good. Get them up there. Are we getting attacked anywhere? No, we've killed off over a million of enemies. We've uh, taken about 100,000 losses. But chase the sun. Although it'll be a long time before we have an operational nuclear weapon, we have successfully built the infrastructure necessary to ensure that we eventually will. Within a month! Our laboratories and research facilities are constructed and secured. Our educational institutions are tuning out are turning out scientists with the necessary skills. Our agencies have secured both domestic and foreign sources of physical material. All that is left is time. And when that day comes, we complete our first nuclear test. We can take pride both in our accomplishments and that knowing that Russia will 
at long last, last, be free from outside interference. Good. Very good. All right. Very, very nice. Mikhail is a very good general. And give him three seconds. All right, let's just go ahead. we got to move. We don't have time to waste. And then you up with the attack as well. There you go. That should be just enough to support the attack. Because they do have quite a few divisions here, and we're attacking with fewer divisions, but that's okay. Budget. Oh! About. We need as many people here as possible. So it's quite the struggle, but that's okay. If it's worth struggling for, it's probably worth doing. You come here immediately. Give me one of your divisions. Attack. And. Oh. Oops, wrong one. Wrong way. There you go. That's better. You help support the attack. So we can circle three divisions. It's not much, but you know what? I'd rather have those three divisions dead than anything else. Beautiful. Attack him from the rear. There you go. Attack him from there, too. Good. There you go. Gone. Gun losses. He's getting slightly better. Slightly better. Making about roughly 50 a day. That's not bad. Not bad. Good. Beautiful. Alright, I'm so glad we made these tank divisions. We're gonna attack here next. But you're gonna hold and wait for the infantry to move up. There we go. Three, two, one. I'm tired of waiting. Uh, take you and help out too. See what you can do. Okay, they died instantly. Good. Take half of you. Go right there. Take you, come up there and meet him halfway. Okay, they didn't even need support for that. Nice. Oh, look how weak they've become. Just it's so it's so nice. Good. So, you guys do that. You guys do this. You guys do this. And you guys do that. There you go. No problems. Chase the sun. And we're done with the focus tree. Beautiful, my friends. Now we're just going to work on our refining. Now, this is going to be ugly up here. 1.05. Okay, look at how many divisions they've left. That's really bad for them. We might actually have a bigger army than all these enemies. That's nice. That's actually really, really nice. But to be able to smash through easily and efficiently, we got to wait just a little bit of a moment here. Do that. Well, I could probably make a beeline for the capital using these tanks, but we're not going to do that. Okay, never mind. We're going to do that. Everyone attack. See what you can do. I like the green. But red is a pretty good... Color too. I almost said number. <clears throat> the color. Oh, we've been. We almost got the capital. Oh, it's right there. Go take that. And make your way down south if you can. Hey, we have the capital. The second capital. This conference is over. And they are done. Now they're going to really stretch out our lines, but you know what? Now they're fully exposed. And the tank's going to have a great time coming through all these different places. Is Laos? Why not? Go ahead, my friends. We defeated Kazakhstan, and they've only less than... They've less than half our army size now. We've taken the capital. Good. See what you can do is... Everyone must be pushing up, though. There is no stopping on this crazy train. Oh, they attack us. Nope, 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 nope. Good. If we can circle them, that'd be awesome. But I don't think we can. Oh, look at that. Oh, we can integrate places. Yes. Advanced development phase. Yes, please. Oh, we can do all this stuff. Uh, let's integrate the places first. Where is it? Socialist International Regional Integration. It's going to hurt us, but that's okay. It's worth it. Less manpower issues, more factories in the state. Love it. Beautiful. See, not bad. I just took my time with it. I like taking my time with things sometimes. Can be very relaxing, and besides, yeah. even though, like taking out the divine mandate of Siberia was like extremely difficult at times, just because you didn't see me rage like really hard trying to beat them up. Other than that, I really enjoy playing as Russia. Like it doesn't matter which nation, I really enjoy it because it's pretty, somewhat relaxing. So, really do enjoy it. Over here, mm hmm, mm hmm, two percent increase. Let's do that one. <clears throat> We have the theoretic, theoretical stage developed and done. Good. Just going to take a bit. How much more do we have to do for this nation? That's eh, got quite a few. 15 to 17 divisions, not bad. 
But I think the army is pretty much, or the enemy is pretty much defeated. I'm really disappointed though. I'm disappointed that Germany isn't doing more right now. I'm really disappointed. And they have the oil crisis, of course, which really hurts them. As well as the UK, I remember playing as them. Oh, Thatcher. Scottish Civil Re Resistance. Ooh. Military Factorinos. Uh, I don't mind if I do right that. With that. Do that. Definitely do this. Do that. But definitely put a lot of them on there. I might even consider slashing the military budget as well. Wow, 21 billion and for that? Jesus. Go and do that anyways. We get less attack, but I don't really care at this point. They're not going to be able to do too much against us. They're so weak. Their army's kind of shattered and scattered. Oh, let's go ahead and grab some of that. No, 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 no. Let's grab some of, uh, this. Better anti-tank. Even at this point, it doesn't matter at all. Go up there, go over there, there, there. Just something like an encirclement. Something like that. I don't know. Everyone's slowly moving in. And it's a beautiful thing. Hey, look at that map hour. 462-something. 226 factorinos. We've done it, my friends. We have enough factories. Well, kind of. And we have a nuclear reactor, but even though it doesn't really do much for us at all. It is what it is. Build two more refineries. That'd be good. Over here, we shall do additional processing. Get some more monthly development. I like that. Enemy wise 13 to 15 divisions. 1.1 million dead. Never enough, of course, but that's okay. You know what? Just go that way, then. You're so fast, it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Beautiful. Go and take them out. Take them out. Good, good. I wanted to stop that division before they went in. 169 billion in terms of GDP. It's about 10 times the size of our debt, which is nice. Even though we still get more debt every year, but whatever. For now, for now. There'll come a time when we will have it all done and taken care of. <clears throat> wow. We have to get all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. Or is this the Barents Sea? Wow. That is very far away. But we'll get there in time. Not really worried about it. Vyatka. Ah, Vyatka. What a fun nation place. Hey, 183 billion. Beautiful. Don't you love it when things come together, my friends? Italy acquires nuclear weaponry? Hey! They're actually almost as bad as we are. 15%? Wait, why would I spend more money? Cost 550 million with 50 US million in annual upkeep costs. Or just get 50 million and get better... How does that... It's shorter... Hold on, it's shorter times to do this. You get more effect. It costs way less. And you don't have a monthly or yearly or annual like stipend that you have to do to pay. I don't understand that. Why? 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 Civilian austerity? Oh god, how bad is budget? Oh, that's not good. Go and slash it some more. Slash, 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 slash. Yep, yeah, we're doing great. It's just a matter of time before we take out all of Russia. Oh, did they? They got Onega. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Is there anything else going on besides our little war here? Oil, diplomatic crisis, world tension, 15%, ongoing conflicts. Siberian Omani, Omani War, Zimbabwe, and Botswana. So basically, no. Nothing else is going on. Uh, just in case. Make sure we do that. Thank you. I go right ahead. Level 4, Field Marshal. Level 6, Level 5, no more upgrades. Level 2 and Level 3, not bad. We only made one tank division, but you know what? It was worth it. It really helped us just push, 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 push. Gorky. That's cool. Losses less than 100,000. Uh, we'll say 100,000 in total because it's Kazakhstan as well. But the amount of damage we did, we killed every single one of their divisions off. Now that is true socialism right there. Killing off all your enemies. Nice. Very good. Oh, got a little more political power. Peace conference. Someone in Africa is dead. Oh, nope. Let it, they, they capitulated. Oh, oh, let's integrate a lot of these places. Is that at the end? 17 billion in terms of debt, 185 billion. 206 billion in terms of GDP. Beautiful, my friends. And annual deficits, merely 1.57 billion. That's civilian spending, though. That's a big old number. That is a big old number. Alright. Uh, ah, let us go ahead and reunify the motherland. Prepare re reunification. Uh, the people's Russian people's union is already dead. Begin unification talks. Reunify the motherland, my friends. We get a research slot. <clears throat> A new Russian revolution, and we've become the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. 
Hope may yet survive. Salvin's ideological beliefs seem almost unsuited to the Russian anarchy. We have done a great thing. We have the libertarian form of Leninism as well. We can enjoy far greater political freedoms than before. The Soviet bear is woken and the world waits impatiently for its war. As the game is lagging quite a bit right now. Oh, this might have a cake. Eh, bye bye, Bink. Russian reunification. The dictatorship of the proletariat and the period of transition to communism will, wait, will for the first time create democracy for the people for the majority. And my friends, unfortunately, that is the end of our campaign. This was actually a very enjoyable campaign, except for when I took out the Divine Mandate to Siberia. Oh, God is evil. But that was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed playing Soblin. I know, like online, like some people like really, really love him. Seems a lot of, seems like a lot of fun. Um, and it was. It was a ton of fun. I'm just disappointed that Goring did not take out the East, so I could like, ha maybe have a war with him, but regardless. <clears throat> I really hope you enjoyed this campaign like I did. If you did, though, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you in another campaign. Thanks for watching. And you have a great rest of your day.